Yeah, four practices for unhurrying your life. There are many practices from the way of Jesus that I think help us experience life in the kingdom and a life of abiding. But there are four in particular. They're ancient. All, some of them are older than Jesus himself that I think are especially helpful in the late modern Western world to mitigate against hurry, digital distraction, overload, exhaustion, and all of the stuff that will just engender us to a life of speed. They are silence and solitude, simplicity, Sabbath, and slowing. Those are four practices. If you think about it, one way to frame the list of spiritual disciplines or practices of Jesus is some are disciplines or practices of engagement where you go out and you do things and others are disciplines of withdrawal or abstinence where you don't do things. So, you know, evangelism or Bible study or worship on Sunday, these are disciplines of engagement. You go to church, you study the Bible, you preach the gospel. Something like fasting is an excellent example of a discipline of abstinence where you don't eat food. And both are important. We need a balance of both. But in a culture of overload and exhaustion and materialism and busyness, disciplines of abstinence tend to be the first ones to go. So we have to especially emphasize, not necessarily because they're more important, but because they're harder to do in our culture. Some of those disciplines like silence and solitude, where you just disconnect from people, noise, stimuli, and you just spend intentional time alone in the quiet to be with God and with your own soul and just to set you, off, who you as you actually are and your soul as it actually is before God. Sabbath, where you just abstain from work for a day. And you know that one's a little bit of a both end because you do engage in delight and feasting and prayer and celebration, but it's a day just to rest and be still. And it's like a governor on the speed of your whole life. Simplicity is when you abstain from too many things or too many activities or too many articles of clothing or too many pairs of shoes or things in your home, which, which are not bad things per se, but end up becoming distraction and maintenance and busyness and hurry and just stacking more onto our already over full life. And then slowing is ancient, you know, kind of practice where you literally attempt to slow your body down in order to acclimate it to the pace of Jesus and the pace of love. And so these practices or disciplines of silence, solitude, Sabbath, simplicity, and slowing, I think are ancient practices that we really need to recapture for apprenticeship to Jesus in the modern world.